Hey guys, how you doing today? Father and son having fun. Father and son. Hey guys, how you doing today? Today I'm going to do a comparison between the Travex Ascent and the Travex Element. Now I've had the Travex Element for about a year and a half and I've had this Ascent since it came out. It's been about a month now and I've carried the Ascent ever since it came out. Uh, I want to get a good good idea of what it was like and, and what I thought about it. Uh, first of all, to get to your cards on the Element, you have to pull the, the rivet top and you slide down to which one you want. This, The element holds three to ten cards. Holds the cash in the back, just like that. It has paracord holding it together. This is the black edition, Kenyan Red, year and a half old. This is the Ascent. It holds three to seven cards. It's got the quick pull, which is nice because if you want to pull something out real quick, you just pull that and you're, you're there. You don't have to unstrap anything like you do on the Element. Uh, then it also has a card holder in the front. Uh, the cash is in the back. That's one thing I do like better about the uh, scent is the cash is a lot easier to get to and, and access. Uh, between the two, the Element is about three quarters of an inch longer. As you can see there, you have this piece protruding here. Uh, when I first went to the Element, I was kind of worried because I was, I was going from a regular wallet that was thick with business cards that I didn't really even need to carry around and cards I probably shouldn't even be carrying around unless I was going on vacation or something. Uh, that It wouldn't hold enough, but it was fine. I learned how to just use cards that I needed and probably use more cards than I should have. And then when I went to the Ascent, I said, man, that's even fewer cards. How am I going to do that? But I got an app, it's called Stogo. It holds all your loyalty cards. So if you have a loyalty card that you get discounts for, you just download Stogo. Uh, it stores them all in there. You scan it right off your phone. So you normally have your phone with you anyways. So that gets rid of a lot of cards. Um, one thing I did find with the Element is normally in the summertime I carry uh, my wallet in my cargo pants, in my cargo pocket because I wear shorts a lot in the summertime. And I carry a phone in one and keys in the other and I didn't want you know one scratching the other vice versa but in the winter I put it in my back pocket and I'll have to tell you that this piece right here kind of bothered me when I was uh, when I wear it in my back pocket it's just a little more bulkier it's probably about 50% thicker um, and, and it sticks out about that much more right there about th three quarters of an inch Weight is not an issue. Of course, the cards make it heavier. These are both Canyon Red. Great, great wallets. The new, uh, I almost forgot this. The new Element actually has a bottle opener incorporated right here. So you can use it as a bottle opener. But other than that, these are great wallets. They hold up great after a year and a half. This one I think looks better than when it was new because it gets a little more character to it. Uh, it gets worn in a little bit. They both come with a 65 year warranty. Uh, they're great, great wallets. They're going to last. They're American made. As you can see, the, sti the hand stitching on that is phenomenal. And if you ever have a problem, I know Travex has great customer service. Um, anytime I've heard of anyone having a problem, even if it was with one of the old um, Summits or the original ones they had that had Velcro. They would, they'd replace it immediately. They'd say, send us a message, we'll send you a new one. These, they don't have the moving parts or the Velcro that's going to wear out like the other ones do, but you know, these are thick. This is thick leather, and I, I couldn't imagine ever needing another wallet. And if, if you think about it, they pay for themselves. The Travex Element in the Black Edition is $84.99. Uh, $79.99 99 for one that has the regular metal frame the ascent which just comes doesn't come with the uh, metal frame or the black metal frame yet 
which I'm sure it's coming, is $54.99. So even if you got the regular one, that's a $20 difference if that makes a difference to you. But if I had to pick one, in my own opinion, I would pick the Ascent uh, just because it's smaller, it's more convenient, uh, getting the money out is more convenient, the quick pull in the cards, you know on this one you're you're popping this one open and, and if you need the third card you, you come down here and get the third card. You know the money you got to open it and get it out. You know it's got a money clip in here so you get your money and you pay them and then you have to fold your money back which you have to fold it like this one too and you stick it back in here. It's just more more process and I found out going through lines and stuff it's a lot quicker with the ascent. Uh, as far as look, you know, functionality, I would take the Ascent every day. As far as looks, I still love the rugged look of the, the element. So if you're, if you're picking this for a decision for yourself, you know, that's a decision you have to make. Uh, they're both great wallets, and I can re recommend both of you, both of them to you. Uh, the only problem with this one I've ever had was if I put my card in the wrong way. that that chip lines up with a rivet which will damage the chip and then the card's no good uh, but as long as you put your chip in or, or you can put a different card that doesn't have a chip on the front of it like a driver's license or something like that but they're both great wallets I've hope I've, hope I've uh, got the high points on, on how these two differ and somewhat how they're the same I, I don't think you'd go wrong with either one I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys have a great day.